let's play a game where you'll win some money. Sound good? We'll start with a dollar and flip a coin. If it's tails, you get the dollar. Congrats. If it's heads, we'll double the amount to $2 and flip again. If the coin lands tails, you get it all, $2. If it's heads again, double the pot again. And we can do this forever. Keep flipping until you get tails. That's when you get to take the money. For every heads in a row, I'll double the stake. Here's the question. How much would you pay to play this game? Keep in mind, there's a one-half chance you walk away with one dollar from the start. A one-fourth chance you walk away with two dollars. And this would continue so on forever. Have your answer? My guess is that you'd probably be willing to pay a few dollars to play. Maybe 10 or 15 if you're feeling generous. What does math say you should be willing to pay to play this game? We can calculate it using what's known as expected value. That's what the game is worth to play. We find this by multiplying all the different possible outcomes by their respective probabilities and adding everything up. The first possible outcome is winning $1. That happens if your first flip is tails, which happens with probability 1 half. The second possible outcome is winning double, $2, by flipping a heads, then a tails, which happens with probability 1 fourth. You would win $4 by flipping heads, heads, tails, probability 1 eighth, and maybe you can see the pattern. We double the winnings and half the probability each time. And theoretically, this game could go on forever. Simplifying our expression, we can see we're adding up infinitely many one halves. One half added to itself infinitely many times would be infinity. So, what does the math say you should pay to play this game? Though I doubt anyone would, math says you should offer up everything you have since, on average, this game will pay out an infinite amount of money. So, will you do it? Probably not. And I think that the on average piece is part of the resolution to this situation. Expected value computes the weighted average of all possible events. In this case, an infinite number of them with exponentially decreasing chances of occurring. Just because the average is infinite, it doesn't mean it would be the value to an individual player. There's also a bit of human behavior wrapped into this question. Losing money is often more painful than the joy of gaining that same amount. Then there's the issue that I don't have an infinite amount of money to wager either, so maybe the whole question is bogus.